Hi everyone, thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts and I wanna show you how to make this pretty uh, Z fold card. So it's a, it's a Z if you look at it this way. Um, I'm using the Touch of Ink or a Touch of Ink, which is a celebration item. If you purchase uh, a $50 order before shipping and, hand, uh, shipping and tax, you can get this for free during celebration, which ends the end of this month. So there's a lot of good stuff out there. But anyway, this is a very simple card to make. I didn't stamp on the inside. It's a hello friend one. You could probably put like thinking of you or something like that, but I'll just write something. And you could stamp in here if you wanted, but I wanted to have some white space because I don't know who I'm sending it to. Anyway, I love the hummingbird and um, let's get started. So I have my pieces and I'm using the thick, um, this is Whisper White. We now have basic white. So I have to remember to say that basic white cardstock. And um, let me get my trimmer out because we want to do a little bit of, um, just want to make sure I'm in here, a little bit of uh, scoring here. So we're going to score at our normal. So this is, uh, I should tell you, <laughs> five and a half um, by eight and a half. And then we're going to do our normal score at four and a quarter and that would give you your basic card but then we want this this flip so we're going to go over to one and a half and score it right there at one and a half okay and then we want to just fold it and then fold this part back so I'm going to use my um, bone folder just to make sure it's nice and sharp. Okay, so we have that piece done. And then I have these pieces that will fit in. And I'll have all the sizes um, in my blog. But this one I cut, it is, I think, two, what is it? I went a little bit under, so it's two and three quarters and I just went a little bit less like one line less so that it wouldn't hang over and this one is one and a half and a little bit more so that it wouldn't I wouldn't have to worry about a gap here so it's just like one one of those little ticky lines on your ruler over but I will have it in my my blog uh, pspapercrafts.com so let's get stamping I'm using black memento ink and I'm using the uh, the stamp and the sentiment from this set. So we'll do the hello friend first. I wanted to establish where I could start my bird, my hummingbird. Okay, and then the hummingbird is going to hang over a little bit. So let me get a piece of scrap. It's not going to fit in this little square. I wanted to have a bigger square, but it got too big, so... I just figured I would cut the hummingbird off. So we'll just get him all inked up. And I want him, I want as much as I can, but I want to have room for the flowers. So we'll put that right there. And then we need the flowers. And I want to make sure his little I don't know what you call that. Is it a beak? It almost looks like a stinger or something. Not sure what you call it. The little needle. I want it to have it going like into a flower. So the other thing I just wanted to mention is these stamps have a background. So I wouldn't have to color it. I could just get um, a color on this and, and stamp it. The, the, the leaves, the butterfly, the flowers. So you can just do this other stamp and um, instead of coloring. But I wanted to give it a little bit of different colors on the bird um, and then on the flowers. So I decided I would color with the stamping blends. And that's why I used the black memento ink. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have the dark daffodil delight. And I just want to get the inside, these little things. And I was wondering if I should put some pearls on them. I may do that. And then I also did part of the wing. 
And you notice I'm using the, the kind of the blunt point end here because it's a little bit narrow. So the flare end, I thought I might not have as much control. Okay, so we're done with that. And then I use Flirty Flamingo, and on this one I'm using the flare end because I have a little bit more, more room. And I like coloring this way better, to be honest. But it depends on how um, narrow it is, where you want to color. So we'll just color this in quick. The coloring goes very fast on this. I love to color with these Stampin' Blends. They're so smooth and they don't leave any lines, which is nice. And if you're an artist and you want to blend, there's dark and light colors of each. So you can really get into some fancy blending. I just pretty much color. I might do a little bit of uh, dark shades, depending on what it is. And a lot of times Stampin' Up! has lines, like these little lines you can use as a guide if you're not good at it to maybe put a dark darker color in and then have the lighter color kind of like cheating <laughs> so we're almost done with this and the paper is really pretty um that color is the misty moonlight which is one of the newer in colors this year and the dandy garden has all kinds of um dragonflies and dandelions and things like that so it's pretty i like it okay let's do a little bit of light granny apple green on the belly so we're just going to go up to this line and i'm not sure what colors the hummingbird should be i'm sure there's lots of varieties they're always so fast it's hard to see really what they look like so let's get right down there. Okay. And then I'll do the light misty moonlight to kind of tie in with the paper. And I'm going to do the feathers. Pretty simple coloring. Trying to decide whether to go. I'm going to go down here a little bit. I think I have a little bit more than I had on this going down. And then I want my light daffodil delight for the, the head and this back part. So this is very easy. And I want to give it a blue eye. So I'm going to go back with the eye with the misty moonlight. Let's just get right in there. Okay, and you can do uh, some layering with this if you wanted darker colors, or you could use the dark marker. I'm pretty much using all the light colors. I didn't want it too dark. Okay, so now I have, this is two and a half and this is two and three quarters. So I just wanna put that down together, just to layer it and make it kind of stand out a little bit. And really at this point, we're just putting the card together simple card. What do you think? Should I add some pearls to the flowers? The eye? I'm not sure. Sometimes uh, I like to leave it just the way it is. I like to add some embellishments, but a lot of times I just, I don't really glam it up too much. So let's put these pieces down. See the other side is this uh, dandelions. It's so funny because, you know, dandelions in your lawn you don't like, but it's nice on a card, I guess. <laughs> so we'll just put this down. I want to make sure it goes right to the edge, top to bottom, corner to corner. And then we want this one in here. And if you're hanging over a little bit, you can always um, just Cut it with scissors from the back or put it on your trimmer and cut it down a little bit. Because I don't think we always cut exactly the same every time we cut. So we want to make sure this can open though. 
so we don't want to um, have it too much on that fold there. And see it's hanging over a little bit, so I'm just going to cut it from behind. Let me get my scissors. I think it would be too hard to um, run through my trimmer. I probably could, but I think this is just easier. Okay, and then we want to put this on. Now you could put it on with dimensionals. I didn't do that. I just really went right down the center. You don't want to get glue on the sides, just in the center. And then we want to kind of center it, top and bottom, left and right, and press it down. So see, if you had glue here, you wouldn't be able to open it. But isn't it cute? I think they're uh, really cute cards. I think it would be nice to receive a card like this. Just a hello friend. Just to let somebody know you're thinking of them. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. And um, give this a try. Let me know if you have any questions. You can email me, patty at pspapercrafts.com. You take care. Bye.